from the red and green. Sorry if you're colour blind. Uh, that's not my example. But um, the thing with Vizio, as I said, it can look nice. Users like Vizio and you can do quite a lot with it and it looks quite good on the iPad. Okay, so security, I talked a little bit about the Azure aspects of it. Um, unified device management, if you're looking at how do I look after these mobile devices, what you can do is um, have a look at System Center. There are probably other ways of doing it, but this is the one I'm most familiar with, which is managing all your devices and enforcing access and privileges and so on and so forth on them. I put that in because I normally get asked what happens if someone gets the iPad pinched. I'm going to just take a, a minute to whisk through some third party tools that can help you to mobilise because I've shown you up till now what we have default in SharePoint. We have Performance Point, Excel Services, Visio and Reporting Services if you're clever and don't use too many parameters, just make it simple. These are some downloadable things that might help you. You can get them from the iTunes store, I think. Now, Mobile Entree, which is just a device that allows you to make reporting services reports, that looks quite nice, I think. And it is based in SharePoint. The idea I like SharePoint is because you have a good framework for your <coughs> data. And then what you can do with that good framework is bolt on the business, according to the business need, bolt on the things that you need. Because I think with any BI tool, it's not going to fulfil everything 100% that your business users want to do. I tend to find the SharePoint is 80 20. If you're clever, you can do it in SharePoint. Otherwise, there are best of big tools out there. Mobile launch should be one of them. Extended results is another one. Yeah. What I like about this one, and I haven't tried it, but I'm going to, is it says it's got a voice feature to search your KPIs. And I think these things never work for me. I don't know if it's a factor of the Scottish accent, but maybe someone with a less regional accent than mine can try it and tell me how they get on. It does all sorts of things. It connects to Outlook and Transpara. It's another nice one as well. And they have sort of heat map things, which customers quite like. Um, Roam BI, this is the most popular one that I personally come across. You can do a free trial. So basically you upload your, your reporting services file, your RDL file, to their site <coughs> and spit you back an example. So you can try that. Um, but I'm not sure, it doesn't work that well in an iPad. Uh, I'm not clear why they didn't go specifically for iPads, given it's the biggest selling mobile tablet at this point in time. Um, but it's worth having a look as well, because it can look quite nice. Okay. So you have lots of things, and um, there are various other ones as well. Blue Granite is another nice one. Uh, just to give you some examples, if you are a .NET person, there's good controls available. Infragistics is one. Uh, component Art Telerik. I've also, I think Dev Express have got some too. So if you are a .NET person, you can do some powerful things with your controls to really visualise the data. Okay. So to visualise the data in a mobile device, just a few things. Maps can take a long time to load. In fact, the whole thing can take a long time to load. So try not to make it too heavy. Uh, your users won't like it. This is called the Herman illusion. And what happens is you get this in Excel sometimes. We are, it's where the lines cross, you get a sort of white dot, can you see that? Mm -hmm. And your eyes start to do this because you try and want to make sense of it. So be careful of very, very hefty lines and very thick contrasts. Use lighter grey instead. So next time you open your Excel spreadsheet, <coughs> a blank one, have a look at the lines and the colours in the cells. And that's why they are that colour, to avoid this. Okay. If anybody's a photographer, you know this is a moiré. Um, effect and what it is is basically lines are transposed so we have completely vertical lines that have got a set of just off vertical lines going over them. It's about being careful with the visualisation and the graphic because you end up with this awful thick black line. Uh, if you're a photographer you spend a lot of time trying to take that out. Um, so be careful of doing that sort of thing. And that was us really. Just to summarise, we've flashed through um, SharePoint can do a lot for you, and if it doesn't do everything you need, then there are third party tools out there, worth having a look. Your bosses will love you if you go in and start mobilising your data, um, 
and just be careful when you do it. Don't make it too heavy. Try and remember, think of that person struggling with the fat fingers on the device. Try and make it as simple as possible. Yeah. Think of the people with the canoe fingers. Yeah. So thank you very, very much for your time. I understand pizza's there, so I better.